Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will talk about a manga called Satano Feni. For those who don't know, this manga is about a mysterious syndrome that turns a schoolgirl into a serial murderer. This syndrome is named Medusa Syndrome. The stories start with a schoolgirl who on her way to get sent into a prison after she committing a serious crime. Before the crime happened, Amagi Chika is a cheerful high school girl. She was quite popular in her school because her beautiful face. One day, Chika was invited by her senpai to join a party at the club. She was having fun and dancing at the club. After that fun night, they went to go home. Until the senpai said, she's not feeling good. Another senpai friend who is driving, offering to stay at his apartment. Until the senpai feeling better. Chika kind nature just agree with it. Because she care about her senpai, even though she having a doubt, coming to a man's apartment. Then the tragedy started. Turned out, the senpai is actually pretending to be sick. And the reason senpai did that, is to bait Chika, to come to the apartment. The senpai getting paid by other male for bringing Chika there. With nowhere to run, and the room filled with, three men and her two senpai. Chika desperately trying to fight, but it's no use. Then at the critical moment. When those trash men trying to touch her. Something awakened inside Chika's brain. She then grabbed the small knife cutter, that they used to cut her dress. And sliced the man on his eyes. Within only two minutes. She killed everyone inside the room. Including her two senpai. All five of them are brutally killed by Chika. But the next time she awake, she didn't remember anything about killing them. Chika then get arrested by the police. And ready to get sent to the prison, where all girls like her, who have Medusa syndrome. That's pretty much what's happened on chapter 1. The reason why I hope this manga get an anime adaptation. Is because the plot story of this manga. I really enjoyed the plot of this series. This manga using the real facts, of real life criminals. Yes, a real facts. The Medusa syndrome is actually about. Neuron activation inside the brain of these schoolgirls. Once the syndrome activated, the girl will awaken at different personalities. This personality is based on a past crazy murder in real world. Just look at this. I really like when manga using a real facts. Not only it's interesting, it's also adds valuable knowledge about murder. Now I know who the hell is Henry Lee Lucas and Albert Fish. Thanks to this manga. Another main reason is the fan service of this manga. We all know fan service is the main attraction in anime. The level of fan service for this series is quite high. I would say the fan service is on the same level as this anime. I'm sure most of you cultured people know how much fan service in this anime. I don't see a problem if any studio want to animate this manga. The only concern might be the brutal scenes. But we already seen some anime has a lot of brutal or crazy scenes. I hope in the future any top studio will picking up this manga. Currently the manga is still ongoing on chapter 194. For those who haven't read this manga. I suggest you guys give it a try. The action, plus the good facts, combined with the fan services, makes this manga worth to read. Thanks for watching guys. See you again in the next video.